Hello everyone, this is Blue Thunder Fan Racing, and welcome for race two of the PWRL, U PWRL UPS Truck Series, the Phoenix 250 at Phoenix. <laughs> Taking out the pole is a uh, Jack Nathan in car, in car number 88. Starting next to him is Thomas McCook. Row number two has Aaron Williams and Merrick McCook. Row three, Garrett Norton and Connor Breton. Row four, Emilio Navarrete and Brian James. Then rounding out the top five is Mason Wood and Taylor Mitchell. Now there is a bit of a story in the back of the field. That involves cars number 17, 98, and 07. These these three drivers tangled tangled in qualifying and wrecked their primary cars and had to bring out a backup car. So despite being in second at the time, so despite so even though he was originally going to qualify second, Wilmer Jones will start 40th, and all and you, Tyler Manson was originally going to qualify 11th, but he's going to start 41st. And Grant Peterson, well, he wasn't very fast. He was probably going to start in the back anyway. He'll roll off for 42nd. So we're about to go green in the Phoenix 250 at Phoenix. And the engine's just fired. Forty two drivers, forty two trucks. Gonna be going head to head for the win in for a, for the win in Phoenix. A duel in the desert. Pace truck dives to pit road, and here comes that duel in the desert. And here's a duel in the desert. Green flag is out. We are underway. Jack Nathan gets a pretty good jump. Thomas Mick Thomas Mickett Cook's gonna go in the second. Garrett Norton's going for fourth back there. And we're looking all to free wide. Free wide for fourth. Oh, no. They're going four wide. Make a cook and Norton make contact. Oh, and ought to hit the wall. Oh. Uh, and the caution's out. Ah, for Dion Scott. Zachary Robinson. Savannah Turner. Oh, a wreck of heads. Oh, Stephen Calvin. Ah, oh, that truck's torn up. Uh, Ryan Jukes on Ryan Jukes on pit road. Bo Peterson on pit road. Ah, Dion Scott's out of the race. Well, let's see what happened to bring out the first caution of the day. Looks like a pretty big one too. All right, this is actually a uh, two in two separate incidents. Here's what happened to bring out the caution. We're centered on the number 20 of Ryan Juke. Zachary Robinson's going to get into Dion Scott. Scott's going to go up into Juke. And Ryan Juke, they hit the wall, and Ryan Juke goes up on the wall. Holy crap. Wow. And he's going to get stuck on there. Now there's a now there's a wreck further up ahead. Uh, Don't know where it starts. Hey, look, you already see Wilmer Jones moving up there. Jones really working hard to try and get the win from 40th on the grid. Trying to see where the wreck starts. Ah, it starts up ahead. Gonna be the number first. That's a 32 of uh, Savannah Turner, top 10 finisher at Daytona. Let's see what happened to her. She goes off, bounces in the bounces off of Curtis Runda. Stephen Calvin got involved. Oh, Calvin gets in the Rundas. And Bo Peterson, Peterson goes over. Wow. Now this, now Phoenix is a short track. Look at him. Peterson is sliding on his roof. Wow. The Petersons have really struggled so far this season. Both of them, they wrecked out last and second and last at Daytona. And now, and now Bo Peterson's involved in a wreck on the, on the first, is now going to be taken out in the first caution yet again. Tough break. Oh, and the Petersons and Grant, the uh, and brother Grant touched him. A little tap. Well, we'll see you back for the caution. Oh, Zachary Robinson and Deion Scott made contact. That's where they're going to go out of the race. 
We are going to go back to Green Flag Racing on lap number 6 of 47. Drivers out of the race are uh, Zachary Robinson, Bo Peterson, Stephen Calvin, and Dion Scott. Don't know what happened to Curtis Run does. But Ryan Juke is actually still in this. He he is back on the track after flipping over. Yeah. That's a <laughs> Yeah, Ryan Juke. How about him? Well, here's your top ten. Jack Nathan is first. Thomas Mickacook second. Aaron Williams is third. Emilio Navarre at fourth. Mason Wood fifth. Sixth, Daytona winner Taylor M Mitchell. Seventh, Connor Breeden. Eighth, Brian James. Ninth, Austin Talley. And tenth is Hunter Xanders. How, yeah, how about Ryan Juke, though? Gonna... He is back on the racetrack after get fl after crashing up onto the wall. He got stuck on the wall. However, I can tell by that car's appearance, by the way that car looks, Juke is going to be way off the pace. But at least he's going to finish. Green flag's back out, and it doesn't look like Ryan Juke is as far off the pace as I figured. Wait, no, no, no. Yes, he is. He's way off the pace. Holding up Curtis Ronda is a fellow lap car. As Thomas Mickacook goes for the lead. 88, the 88 and the free side by side for the first position. Mason Woods moves in the fifth. Green flag still out. Thomas Mickacook is your new leader. Oh well, how about Wilmer Jones? Jones started dead, started 40th, and by lap seven, he's up to 26th and still making up ground. Oh, for one, there's there's problems. Caution's out. Oh, Jason Marshall. Oh, there's Brody Talley. The Daytona pole sitter, Jason Marshall, ever since that pole, he has just struggled big time. Well, Thomas Mickacook is your leader. Let's see what happened. Well, uh, here's what happened. At the at, For a molder, they were going four wide. Jason Marshall's going to get into Darren Gale and Curtis Run does. Both are going to go in the wall. Marshall spins. Uh, Peter Saviano gets run down the track. Now, I think there's another wreck. There's Ryan Juke. Oh. Oh, Brody Talley and Rhett Yates get together. And... Wow! Both saved it! Well, actually, well, actually no. Nah, I wouldn't say Brody Talley saved it. He, like, came to a stop before getting that thing back going. But what a save by Rhett Yates. Well, we'll see you back for the restart. Okay, we'll go back to green flag racing on lap number 12. No drivers have dropped out of the race after that last incident. Here's your top 10. Thomas Migacook is first. Jack Nathan second. Emilio Navarre at third. Mason Wood fourth. Aaron Williams fifth. Austin Talley sixth. Brandon Bain is seventh. Taylor Mitchell eighth. Hunter Xander's ninth. And Connor Breton is tenth. Rob Thomas is 11th, Daniel Culp is 12th, 13th is Peter Saviano, 14th Jessica Lawrence, 15th Merrick Mickacook, 16th James Qualls, 17th Connor Halligan, 18th Joseph Clark, 19th Kevin Ulrich, and 20th is PCM Mickacook. Wilmer Jones up to 23rd after starting 40th. Well, that's two vehicle, two trucks about front end there now. While uh, Curtis Runda's in the 39, that truck's all battered up now, just like Ryan Jukes. So far, this has not really been a good. This hasn't really been a good start to the season for either one of those drivers, Ryan Juke or Curtis Runda's. Well, the greens back out, and Mega Cook gets a big jump in the number three. I think he's gonna be leading on this green flag run if we even have one. Ah, uh, Chris Rickenbaugh doesn't have a front end now either. However, he is not a lap down. Ah, four wide! Four wide in the back! Will they save it? Oh, oh, no, 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 no! They saved... How did they pull it together? Wait, no, they're not going to pull it together! Ah, oh, Tony 
Brittany Blazer and Brian James. Caution's gonna be out. Jason Marshall. Ah, Jason Marshall's bad luck continues as he is out of the race. That thing's pouring out smoke. Yeah, caution is out. Mason Woods going for second. Uh, Emilio Navarre going for third. Now Navarre is going to go for second, but Mason Wood will hold on to that spot. Well, let's go see what happened. Well, here's what happened. Brian James was running in the back. He's going to get contact from Tyler Manson. Going to go up. They were going to save it, but then James makes contact of Tony Blazer. They go into the wall. James goes sliding. But then Jason Marshall just runs straight into the back of Tony Blazer, and that's going to end his race. Well, that's all i got to say about that incident. We'll see you back for the restart. Well, it got pit stops under the yellow flag. So, uh, we are not... So, we're going to see, uh... Why? <laughs> we're going to have to see. This could be a crucial part of this race. Only drivers not pitting are uh, the ones that can't pit. Drivers that wait. No, no. No, there are some people that's staying out. Uh, Garrett Norton stays out. Darren Gale, uh, Chris Rickenbaugh, and Brian James. Those four drivers will stay out. So I guess Nor Garrett Norton will be your leader. And we got tire changes. Mason Wood coming off pit lane pretty fast. But Thomas Mickacook will win the race off of pit road. Oh, look at Jack Naden. That's not a good stop at all. He's losing a ton of spots. Is there a problem? Oh, wow. Not a good stop for him or for Rob Thomas. It seems the four sport crew is just screwing up. Wow. The four sport crew just really. Wow. Both of the four sport crews, 30, 88, and the 13. Both four sport crews really dropped the ball right there. Costing Jack Nathan and Rob Thomas tons of spots. Well, we'll see you back for the restart. We go back to Green Flag Racing on lap number 18. Uh, Jason Marshall is out of the race. Here is your uh, top, t here is your running order. Garrett Norton is first. Darren Gale is second. Chris Rickenbaugh is third. And Brian James is fourth. Those four drivers stayed out. Fifth is Thomas Mickacook. 6th, Mason Wood, 7th, Aaron Williams, 8th, Daniel Culp, 9th, Taylor Mitchell, and 10th is James Qualls, 11th, Emilio Navarre, 12th, Austin Talley, 13th, Hunter Xanters, 14th, Brandon Bain, 15th, Savannah Turner, 16th, Merrick Mickacook, 8th, 17th, Peter Saviano, 18th, Fred Yates, 19th, Connor Breton, and 20th is Connor Halligan. I gotta say, though, the 88 team and the 13 team, both two, the four sport teams for the 18 and 13 really just dropped the ball. Jack Nathan is down to 26th, and Rob Thomas down to uh, 33rd. Yeah, it doesn't look like four sport is doing very well for, for a pit stops. And like pace car dives for pit road, I mean pace truck. Garrett Norton will lead us back to the green, but keep in mind, first through fourth, stayed out. Thomas Mickacook is on fresher tires, and Chris Rickenbaugh has a ton of damage. Yeah, there it goes. Thomas Mickacook, those newer tires, is paying dividends away. He's getting held up by Ryan Juke. Better watch Ryan Juke here. Holding up some faster traffic. Oh, sliding up into Mason Wood. Don't wreck. <laughs> oh, what? It's going to does. Oh, no. Oh no, it's a huge travesty! Big wreck! It's a stack, it's a big stack up! Jack Nathan, the pole sitter's involved! Nathan! <sighs> wow. And Rob Thomas is involved too! Wow. Ah, uh, Reese Valkin for Bill Davis Racing. Well, the pit crews for a four, four, four sport, it looks like they're going to be looking for a new job because they basically just cost their drivers the race. Rob, they made poor pit stops, which put them in the back. They they didn't work hard enough, which put them in the back, leaving them vulnerable to crash, leaving them vulnerable to, a, to uh, crashes. And what do you know? They're, 
they got involved in ah oh, oh, Hunter Xanders. Oh, they're stacking up here. Oh, ah, oh, Connor Halligan and Kevin Ork now have a ton of damage. Well, let's see what happened. Well, here's what happened. I don't know what Mason Wood is thinking, but he has drove, but he basically just drove straight for the back end of Curtis Rundas. There he goes. Gonna get Aaron Williams and Taylor Mitchell. They're gonna, they're not, they don't have much problems continuing on though. Brandon Bain misses it. Hunter Xanders, his race is gonna end. Chris Rickenbaugh, Peter Saviano, Merrick Mickacook, Savannah Turner, Joseph Clark, Connor Breton, Brian James, uh, Tyler Manson, James Qualls, Jessica Lawrence, Jack Nathan, Wilmer Jones, Grant Peterson, Rob Thomas, Daniel Hummel, Brody Talley, Tony Blazer, Seth Cole, uh, Tony Blazer, uh, Kevin Ulrich, Rhett Yates, Connor Halligan, and uh, Reese Valkin. He's done. Well, that was a pretty big that was a pretty big pile up. There was a stack up under the caution. We'll see you back for the restart. We'll go back to green flag racing on lap number 24. Drivers out of the race are uh, Hunter Xanders, Peter Saviano, Wilmer Jones. Too bad. He was really having a great run, working his way through the field really fast. Reese Valkin, Curtis Rundas. They joined Jason Marshall, Zachary Robinson, Bo Peterson, Stephen Calvin, and Deion Scott. Here is your running order. Thomas Mickacook is first. Aaron Williams is second. for Jessica Lawrence. Fourth is Mason Wood. Fifth, Brandon Bain. Sixth, Faustin Talley. Seventh, Brian James. Eighth, Daniel Culp. Ninth, Garrett Norton. And tenth is Darren Gale. Eleventh, Taylor Mitchell. Twelfth, Connor Breton. Thirteenth, Savannah Turner. Fourteenth, Tyler Manson. Fifteenth, Merrick Mickacook. Sixteenth, James Qualls. Seventeenth, Jack Nathan. Eighteenth, Chris Rickenbaugh. Nineteenth, Emilio Navarro. And twentieth is Rhett Yates. It's too bad that Wilmer Jones is out of the race. He was looking really good. While well, Pace Truck head dives to pit road, Ryan Duke is now the only lap car. Green flags back out. Looks like it's going to be Thomas Mickacook and Aaron Williams on this restart. Can't really see what the halfway point is. Mickacook is out front. He didn't do that bad at Daytona, but I don't think he uh, was really out front. But here he is in perfect position to win Phoenix. Aaron Williams is Aaron Williams has been pretty fast all week. Jessica Lawrence has just kind of been quiet. Has just kind of been a little quiet. But now we're seeing her appear up front near near the end of the race. Her teammate Brandon Bain just took fourth, so he's obviously on fire. Fifth is uh Mason Wood. Sixth is Brian James. Well actually no, they're gonna swap spots here. Oh, someone's on the grass! That's Kevin Ulrich. He's now going to be a lap down. Wow, he's way off the pace. Though. Oh, Merrick Mickacook! Oh, this, this, this is a wreck. But, caution's not out. What happened to Merrick Mickacook, though? Well, Thomas Mickacook's pulling out to a lead, but the caution is not out. Grant Peterson and Tony Blazer coming down pit road. Connor Halligan, Kevin Ulrich. There's Chris Rickenbaugh. And oh, there's a wreck! Jeffrey Finguy and Ryan Juke. Oh, Rickenbaugh almost hit him. Caution's out. Thomas Mickacook is still the leader. Well, well let's see what happened. Mm, really not much to say about this incident. Jeffrey Finguy is going to slide up into Ryan Juke. Juke really had nowhere to go, but he could have tried to let off. They go into the wall. Finguy slides. Juke doesn't. Auto Juke doesn't make contact. Then Chris Rickenbaugh barely misses the 51 right there. Oh, that's close. Let's see, uh, let's see how close that was. Holy crap, that was close. We'll see you back for the restart. We go back to Green Flag Racing on lap number 32. Merrick Mickacook. The reason why Merrick Mickacook 
her smoking was because she was because uh, he uh, blew his clutch. Uh, utter, however, nobody out in the real incident. Here is your uh, running order. Thomas Micah Cook is first, Aaron Williams is second, Brandon Bain up the third, Brian James is fourth, fifth, Taylor Mitchell, sixth, Mason Woods, seventh, Austin Talley, eighth, Daniel Culp, ninth, Connor Breton, and tenth is Garrett Norton, eleventh, Sam Savannah Turner, twelfth, Darren Gale, thirteenth, Jack Nathan, fourteenth, Tyler Manson, fifteenth, James Qualls, sixteenth, Emilio Navarrete, seventeenth, Steph Cole, eighteenth, Brody Talley, nineteenth, Fred Yates, and twentieth is Daniel Hummel. Well, we had a pretty good race so far at, at a Phoenix, approaching 10 laps to go. Lap number 38 is the 10 to go mark. Pace truck dives for pit road. And the green's back out. Wow, Ryan Duke is so slow, he's holding up fellow lap cars. Thomas Mickacook and Aaron Williams are going to get away, 1-2. Just like the last restart. Let's take a look and see who's got the fastest lap. Uh, that would be Mason Wood. Mason Wood's got the fastest lap of the race. Oh, someone's coming down pit road. Kevin Orrick and Connor, Connor Halligan and Tony Blazer again. What are they doing? Do they are are they having like problems with the car and they're like I think they're having I think there's like a puncture in the fuel tank or something and they're having like stop for fuel every lap. Wow, tough break for those guys. Oh, coming upon these. Meanwhile, Brandon Bain is chasing down the leaders. Meanwhile, uh, Brandon Bain, he is chasing down the leaders. He just set his he just set the seventh fastest lap of the race. I think Aaron Williams has hit the wall while Bain didn't. He's gonna he's gonna make the move on Aaron Williams. Oh they touched! The bump and run by Brandon Bain to move him into second place. Wait comes Grant Peterson. Okay. No wreck. Got a pretty neat green flag run going on right now. There's Ryan Juke. Off the pace as usual. Well. Well, as far as expectations have been for today, ever since, like, the first caution, because... Look at that thing! That thing's just so slow. But I bet if, Juke, if you put Juke in a truck that wasn't damaged, he would be pretty fast. Or at least competitive. It's obvious you'd be off the pace of a damaged truck. Uh, Taylor Mitchell going around her teammate Aaron Williams. Mitchell won Daytona. Looking to get her second win in a row. She will take third from her Turner Motorsports teammate. But Aaron is fighting back. Side by side. This is a pretty good battle we've got going on here. Taylor Mitchell appears she'll ultimately get the spot, though. Mitchell tried to get past Brandon Bain, but that's not going to work out. But but Thomas Mickacook is currently faster. The fastest of this lead group is now Taylor Mitchell. as She is making up ground on the number three as we have ten laps to go here. Here comes these guys coming down for pit coming down pit road again. And Mika Cook lost a little ground to Brandon Bain that time by. Nine to go. Aaron Williams seems to be fading back seems to be fading away a little bit. And while there is some damage on that truck. Oh, Mitchell has hit the wall. And Aaron Williams is going to try and get that third spot back. But his truck is not near as strong as Taylor Mitchell's. No, yeah, he's got some damage on the right side there. 
Thomas Mikacook seems... Thomas Mikacook is not the fastest driver on the track, but it appears that he is going to be fast enough to get his first win of the season. Seven laps to go. Six laps to go at Phoenix. Mika Cook is still leading. Brandon Bain is now faster, though. Taylor Mitchell is faster than the leader. Brian James has taken fourth. Wait, what happened to Aaron Williams? Wait, what's Mason Wood doing? Oh, caution's out! Caution is out! They'll race it back to the line. Will this be the end of the race? Oh, Aaron Williams! Oh, no, no, no! Oh, you've got to be kidding me. No! Aaron Williams, he was having the... He had one of the best cars of the day, and now he, he won't get to show it as he's not even going to finish. Oh, oh! How gut-wrenching it's got to be for Williams. Well, let's see what happened. The poor Aaron Williams. He just can't seem to catch a break. Well, I think this might be an issue with the two drivers. This is teammates getting together. Taylor Mitchell is just going to go straight up into Aaron Williams. And is not going to let off. Turn him straight into the wall. Uh, wow. I think the I think race control is definitely going to want to talk to her, but that's not what t knocks him out of the race. This is what knocks him out of the race. There is a clip of Daniel Culp. Tough break for Culp. He's going to go out of the race. He was running so well. But yeah, Taylor Mitchell basically took out two top ten drivers. So, I'm not sure if she'll get suspended or not. <laughs> or if she'll just get like sent to the rear for the next race, or if any, or if anything will be done. But either way, I think race control is gonna want to have gonna. Uh, yeah. Can you say one lap shootout? It's gonna be a one lap dash to determine the winner of this race. Thomas Migacook is leading. Brandon Bain is second, Taylor Mitchell's third. Race Control has called her to the hauler after the race for an interesting discussion. We'll have to see how that turns out. Brian James fifth. No, Brian James is fourth. Fifth is Mason Wood. Sixth, Garrett Norton. Seventh, Connor Breeden. Eighth, Savannah Turner. Jack Dayton's back in the top ten, and Tyler Manson is tenth. I think it's basically going to be just... I don't... I don't I really think it's no. I really think it's just gonna be between Mika Cook, Bain, and Mitchell. Those three drivers are gonna fight it out. I think they're gonna fight it out for the win in the Phoenix 250 at Phoenix. One lap shootout. Pace car. Pace trucks are gonna die for pit road. There it goes. The anticipation. Here we go, green flag, Brandon Bean got a great start. Can he win this? He's gonna he's gonna be able to get these corners better than Mega Cook. He's gonna need to find a final run. Brandon Bean getting closer. Not he's losing ground. Will Mega Cook pull it off? Can Brandon Bean find a way to get around? No! No, he won't! Thomas Mikacook wins the Phoenix 250! That was a pretty good finish there. Brandon Bain is second. He tried what he could. Third is Taylor Mitchell. Fourth, Garrett Norton. Fifth, Mason Wood. Sixth is going to be out of 22. Uh, seventh, Connor Breton. Eighth, Jack Nathan. Ninth is Savannah Turner. And tenth, 
Darren Gale. What a race. Looks like Caution could be out. Looks like the Caution might have come out. Well, we had a pretty we had a pretty good race here at Phoenix. I'm gonna see if uh Brian well I see if Brian James got wrecked. We're gonna Oh, Brian James did get wrecked. Well Uh that's all we got this week for the UPS truck series. Here comes the the results and standings. You've been watching a production of the Pro World Racing League, where real racing happens. See you next time. Thank <laughs> you.